Good stuff. How's it going everybody? I'm at Kyle's house right now. This is Leo Potzel TV, Reef Tank Addiction, Season 2. And I'm super excited to be featuring this gorgeous 410 gallon saltwater coral reef fish tank. Kyle, thank you so much for having me here today. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself so we can literally jump in this tank and start learning as much as we can about it. Yeah, um, my name's Kyle. I've been in the hobby for about six years and other than that, I started out with a 29 gallon bio cube and it just kind of snowballed into this thing. Takes up a lot of time at the beginning, but yeah. right now I'm extremely happy because again, I don't do much and it just works. This is gorgeous, man. Look at that, eh? This is very nice and relaxing. I'm actually yeah. taking a seat right now and taking this in. This is beautiful, man. I like this little like island little situation over here. Yeah. Whatever you want to call it, the aquascaping, nice open space. That's a really open tank. What uh, I gotta ask you this, I'm sure other people are probably interested as well. Like cleaning the acrylic here, like what are you using to clean it or make the front glass I use, so I clean? Use food grade razor blades. Food grade razor blades. Yes. Didn't even know they exist. Yes, so they're uh, razor blades. But Thank you very much. I'll show you actually. Good stuff. He's gonna show us. Good for fragging too. Good I for fragging it. too. Yeah, one one of my uh, companies I actually run is a distributor of these. Okay. So it's just a plastic, but it's food grade and it doesn't scratch acrylic. Oh, so it's a plastic uh, razor blade. Perfect. Yeah, just it's a food grade plastic and they keep the edge mm -hmm. and it doesn't scratch acrylic. So that's what you use. Period. That's it. Yeah, that's what I use, and I also use. Um, a squeegee for laying vinyl, which is a plastic dead squeegee that like you would use right. to lay tint on a car. Yeah, whatnot. yeah, I have one of those too. Yeah, yeah, so this one is nice even pressure and it takes five seconds. To and clean. that's for what, the front? Like, yeah, uh, but the, the inside or? Yeah, the inside. Oh, the inside, the so the wet side, side, yeah. Yep, all wet side. The outside I use the Mirage from ATM. Okay. I really don't, you know, support this company at right. all, right. but this product works and it doesn't kill fish if it gets anymore. And what's that for? What is that for? That's just cleaning the outside of the tank. Oh, that's for cleaning the outside. Yeah, I mean, you get salt creep and salt right. drips whenever I stick. I it noticed that the the back of it is black. What? Uh, yeah. How is that black? How so the whole it? tank's made out of clear. The center section is coated in eighth inch acrylic that's black that can actually come out, and then the back of the tank has a uh, black vinyl on it, and that's it. So you're actually looking through half inch into black. Oh, is um, that right, eh? Yeah. I was going to run It like doesn't a, look like that, eh? Yeah, I was going to run like a perfectly clean back, you know, scrape it all. Clean yeah, it yeah, off. yeah. I just, I don't know. I just, That's I all know. mine is, the way yours is yeah. pretty much. I haven't it? got around to it, and you know what? I just, it, I don't, it doesn't bother me. So, I'll just leave it, because it's a lot of work to scrape all that off now. But as you can see too, when I was designing the tank, I never got around to fully designing the return. So if you see, there's actually hexagonal plugs. Yeah, I see so those. So those things. come out and I can run three returns. So the tank's already drilled to run three returns, just in case I decide and to And you put them all in the middle, eh? Yeah. Well, because that's where the return pump is. Yep, that's exactly. You have to do that. And I wanted a, a, a current that ran into a circle, right? right. Because of how the tank where actually the, worked. Where it actually... Uh, yeah, because... Where the teeth were for the uh, exactly, and where the power, power heads, heads were going to be placed. Other than that, I would have to run power heads like out here, which would be ugly. So right. I, I knew I wanted to run power heads in the back, so that makes the flow of the water just consistently just do this. Is that and right? Stuff, eh? Right. So I'm gonna guess you probably have this stuff all like drawn down, written down, like blueprint kind of yeah, a I'm, thing. I like, do uh, 3D modeling, so the whole thing was 3D modeled. Um, I love looking at some of those pictures, the mock-ups and yeah. stuff, like the ideas. And yeah, so I, I 3D modeled the whole thing, and really the whole, I mean, building the tank took me two weeks, I think. I mean, that wasn't a big Just deal. the acrylic itself? Yeah, because of dry times and stuff like that, and plus, gluing up a tank this big is just a pain. That's amazing. No matter amazing. what you do, it's just a pain. Um, designing it took a little bit longer, I mean. Yeah, you gotta, that's the main, the, yeah. the most important thing, man. Yeah. Before you go ahead, you gotta design yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I had to shape down uh, the filtration system. Uh, that's where reef supplies really helped out too. 
because I had to make sure that because it's an all-in-one that I could fit the skimmer I wanted exactly. to fit and stuff like that. Exactly. So Ray made sure I had the stuff when I needed it so I could actually put it in and actually do it because everything that's on this tank, it comes off a CMC router. I uh, have three CMC routers, so I don't hand cut anything. Everything you see is CMC. That's why the, the top of it's one sheet Euro brace. It's actually three sheets glued together. Yeah, I noticed this Euro brace. How thick is it? So you can see the glue seam that I did, and it's half inch. It could have been a lot thinner, but right. I made everything overbuilt, and it's all CMC, the whole thing. Look at this. This is beautiful, bud. Yeah. Everything on this tank has been CNC. It just makes life so much easier. Thinking about your tank, yeah, even when you're sleeping. Maintaining your levels, keeping them from peaking. Beginner or pro, yeah, happy reefing. It's in our blood, it's like we're bleeding. You won't even believe me, the things that we keep in. Do it yourself projects, yeah, you know you love it. Always keep them coming, now you're learning something.